We're in uh, Worcester, Massachusetts. Uh, I get to the field around like 10.05. Uh, start to get changed, and uh, Cesar Ramos, our pitching coach, uh, tells me that uh, I need to be seen in the manager's office. And you get one of those, you never know what's going to happen. So uh, I followed Cesar to AC's office and uh, got in the office, and he just went out with it and just said, hey, you're going to the big leagues. This is what's going on. And I was kind of taking me back. Um, Preston Mattingly was on the phone, talked to him, and everyone just said congratulations. And I was still kind of out of my mind there, didn't really know too much I was going on, but it was just a really great feeling. And then uh, was after they told me, I was able to tell all the teammates, everyone was really happy, and then got to tell my fiance and the rest of my family. So we're just really excited. Just take us through the experience of going up there too. I know people try to take it all in, but not let it be too overwhelming. Uh, what, what were some of the memories? Well, how, how much did you appreciate it? How much did you absorb the whole experience? I mean, I think I handled it really well. Um, you know, it was something I've been working for, not just for, again, I said in the last interview, but not just for seven years, but something I've been working for my whole life. And, um, you know, it was just a great experience. It was great being on the flight from Boston to Philly, uh, getting picked up, driven to the uh, Citizens Bank, and then just getting in there and being in that atmosphere. It was just a great feeling. Um, really lucky to be a part of it. But I just really enjoyed it. It was something that was just everything I wanted it to be, um, just something that, I really, really enjoyed. How much does that experience now motivate you to get back and, and make it stick for longer this time? It's something, again, I've been working for for a long time. So getting there was step one now. Getting there and staying there is going to be step two. So just got to keep doing what I'm doing. Enjoy really being in Lehigh again. We have a great team here, great staff. Um, just really excited to be working with these guys again. And uh, if I get back there this year, you know, I'm going to take advantage of every opportunity I get and just keep on going. Keep on going. How do you not let that creep into your mind? Like, hey, I'm not preparing enough. I'm not pitching enough times. I'm not doing enough. How, how do you not let that be bothersome to the point where you're thinking about getting back too many times? It's kind of one of those cases you got to take one day at a time, one pitch at a time, one batter at a time. You know, um, it's definitely mentally it's tough sometimes, but we have a great mental skills uh, group here also. And, you know, it's baseball still. It's still a kid's game, and it's something I enjoy doing every day. I'm just really thankful I get to do it. You had told me on media day that the changeup was a pitch that you worked on during the offseason to add to the repertoire. How is that going for you so far as far as being able to incorporate that in with the other pitches? It's going well. You know, um, I knew I was going to need a third pitch uh, moving into my career. I was a fastball guy early in my career, started developing the slider, and I knew if I was able to get that changeup, it was just going to be something for my arsenal to help. So I started throwing it a lot more last year during our season here. When I got to Mexico, I realized it's a good weapon for me, especially in that league. And then in spring training this year, I just forced myself to use it. I threw it in counts I normally probably wouldn't throw it in, but it was something I needed to work on. And it worked. It uh, really helped my uh, arsenal. It really helped my repertoire. So it was just something I really focus on now. Um, we got a great uh, three catchers here, and I trust all three of them. So. We've been on a pretty good page right now with all three of them, so if they call, I'm going to throw it, and it kind of depends on the situation, but it's something I really enjoy throwing right now. Is that the pitch that you rely on to get an out if you need it, or a key strike, or is it another pitch that you like to go to? I'd still say my slider is my uh, number one pitch. Uh, if I'm going to get beat, guy's going to beat me on my slider, and there's really you just tip your cap to him if you get beat on your best pitch, but I really enjoy having the changeup in my back pocket now. Knowing I can throw it at any count right now feels pretty comfortable.